What is going on guys, DBG here and this is just a market watch. If you look at challenges, if you don't really like playing challenges, you may be in for a big profit anyway. Because if you look at the moment challenges, obviously it's a Serge Ibaka one. But for this challenge you need an Andrew Wiggins card. For that reason, if you look at the auction house, you look up Andrew Wiggins, Wiggins was selling for 1, 1k. I'm pretty sure the majority of people that have this game have an Andrew Wiggins because he's a fun card, he's really cheap. But Wiggins is currently going for well over 10k. For, because you do get 10k for that challenge. If you want to play that challenge, great, that's 10k for you. But if you don't want to play the challenge, you might as well just sell your Andrew Wiggins. Because, why not? It's, a, it's an easy little bit of money. Or heck, you could even sell the... You can even do the challenge and then sell your Wiggins. So if you have an Andrew Wiggins, hey, if you bought a couple of Andrew Wigginses, I don't know, maybe you want to flip them. But yeah, for some reason, well, obviously not for some reason, he's in that challenge. There's a reason why he's suddenly so much. And yeah, you can make a massive profit off Wiggins. I, for some reason, I didn't even realize what why he was so much. I put him up for nearly 9,850. 9, but yeah, win some, you lose some. So um, one of my advice with the way the moment challenges are working is to buy as many current NBA play day NBA players as possible, good current day NBA players. As in, I don't know, if Porzingis drops 50, he'll go up to 10k. Buy as many good NBA players as possible, the golds, the emeralds, because they're all really, really cheap. And they're the most likely ones to have the 10k moment challenges. So you can go and play them challenges, you can get your 10k and then you can sell them for another 10k. While this tactic probably, well, more than likely this tactic won't get you that much coins. If you can buy, you can buy all the best players in the NBA for about 40k. If this even hap works with four of them, five of them, you have made a massive profit. And you can just go and buy them back anyway. So yeah, it's just my little bit of weird market advice. While you might think, oh, you're taking a little bit of a risk. You have the players, you can use the players. You can sell them back at any time. Their values cannot drop any more than they currently are, than they are at the minute. And then if they get a challenge, heck, you've got 10 to 20k free. So why not? With all the things that's going on, I lost track, I felt so strong.